but we engage all people wherever we are. We do so with warmth, with openness, with an ability to engage in conversation, hoping sometimes that they'll be stretched by our perspective, but at the same time we're stretched by theirs. Dominican Village in Amityville, an independent and assisted living retirement community with respite care, strives to ensure that all feel secure and at home while placing high value on the dignity of the human person. Oh, when you deal with them, they're so pleasant. They have no, they never get upset. The feedback that I get, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, how helpful it is to them to know that we are here with them. Whatever they do, they're giving you love. They show it. Our Lady of Consolation recognizes the dignity and uniqueness of each person. Compassionate care is provided in a nurturing environment with the utmost respect to enhance the health and well-being of all. No one can live alone just on receiving the physical care. They need the spiritual care. Well, if they were very um, compassionate. The Dominicans are so important because they're such beautiful human beings. We've had residents call out for the sisters. They, they don't want any, they don't want any other staff member, they don't want nursing, they don't want a doctor, they want a sister to come. Because as people age and they feel the effects of that aging on their bodies, they begin to think about what comes next. The Dominican Sisters of Amityville's Youth Ministry Program engages high school students, college students, and young adults in finding their place in the church as they make the connection between the Dominican tradition of preaching and their own individual call to preach. Provides a, um, a milieu where young people who, just like them, um, have an opportunity to talk openly about their faith. Well, they are role models. They give off this light and they're always so happy. And they come away with a whole fresh new sense of, wow, you know, religion was always a part of my life, but now I really want to make it more a part of my life. We have so many talents and abilities that we were blessed with at baptism from God. And we have a duty as Catholics to, to spread that to other people through our actions and our words. <laughs> Listening and partnering to create community responses to underserved people is the mission of Benacasa Family Services and its Queens-based Jamaica Neighborhood Center. We do a lot with people who are coming back to work, having been laid off after 25, 26 years. Coming in each day and being able to serve whoever is here and whatever they need. Since 1908, St. Agnes Academic High School in College Point builds upon each student's faith and challenges her full academic potential. In this day and age, teenagers, and especially teenage young women, there is no place for them to go with their concerns, their fears. The Dominicans are really here, and they really make a difference. They're just so open, friendly, warm-hearted, I guess. It's like someone you knew all your life. One of my classic stories was when we took a group out to Amityville to see our mother house. And they were so excited when they returned to school and I was here when they came back from their bus ride. And they couldn't wait to tell me all about it. But one girl just said to me, Sister Joan, I have to tell you something so exciting. And I said, what is that? And she said, we saw where you're gonna be buried. <laughs> The success of St. Agnes Cathedral School in Rockville Center, the dedication and commitment of over 100 Amityville Dominicans as teachers and principals enabled thousands of children to experience the richness of a Catholic education. Preparing them for life and for uh, a future uh, in terms of not only society but in terms of the church. Malloy College in Rockville Center, giving students the opportunity to gain the knowledge, skills, and self-confidence they need to make a difference in their lives and in our fast-paced, ever-changing world. I was honored to know Dominican sisters back in high school, and they were always very warm and compassionate. Their ability to care and love right off the bat. They don't need to know you. To give them opportunities where they can experience God in others. They inspired me to do not only community service, but social justice. Particularly young adults, they are so motivated through uh, service. 
them leading by example, I get involved in all of these things and I, I get to experience all of these different cultures and these different experiences and it's real important to me. Opening Word recognizes the relationship between literacy, self-worth, and economic security. Through their literacy and life skills programs, they give the women the strength and the tools needed to improve their lives. Well, we believe the hand that rocks the cradle rocks the world. E. E. F. They have great faith in me. Person to after person speaks primarily of her ability now to talk to her child's teacher to be able to read to their child, to do homework with their child. At the same time, they've learned skills like how to manage good meals on a lesser budget. Homecoming promotes the interconnectedness between the earth and our daily lives. We're a project of Homecoming, which is a sponsored ministry of the Sisters of St. Dominic. Um, there is one thing in their mission statement that resounds with us and that the sisters say they will be responsible members of the universe and we try very much to embody that, that part of the char Dominican charism right here at Sophia Garden. The North Fork Spanish Apostolate seeks significant lasting solutions through advocacy and programs enhancing the quality of life for thousands of women, children, and immigrants on Long Island's East End. We try to provide a voice for those who do not have a voice, but then to begin training so that we can help them find their own voice and be able to take charge of their own lives. We're going in to visit one of the families here. We have a mother-child mentoring program in 15 different homes, and we keep increasing it where a teacher goes into a home and works with the mothers and the children in getting them ready for school, helping them with their work, and adjusting to life in the United States. Delivery of the services Our Children provides to women on both sides of the wall is unmatched. They're committed to the compassionate and loving care of the children of incarcerated women and the support and empowerment for mothers during their reuniting with their families. For me, it's about a second chance. What people don't realize is that when women are released from prison or on parole, that there's nowhere to go, and the shelter system just doesn't make it. I was writing my name in school. You finally learning how to write your name? We hope but that when the women have learned the skills that they're needed to re-enter into society, we uh, help them find apartments for themselves, and they're on their own. There's a network of over 7,000 women that we have. I'm thankful to Sister Tisa. I'm thankful for our children. I'm thankful that she has that loving heart and that compassion in her heart to say these women have children and they need help, and we're going to give them that stepping stone to move forward with their lives. So many people have partnered with the sisters over the last century and a half. Many more are needed to fulfill their dreams of expanding upon those programs that will move them forward with confidence while creatively thinking of new ways to continue their preaching of the good news to God's people. We're kind of an instrument or a, a touchstone, we believe, between the person and God. We all hear that God is with us, but I, I don't think we understand that God is within each of us. God wants us to be happy. Yeah, I think I'd be lost without them because they're my guardian angels. They're very enthusiastic. They have a, a fire within them. Think about what life has given you and what we can do with all that we have been given. When I need something, the sister help me. You never retire as a Dominican sister. You always find something to do. And the last resort, if you're in a wheelchair or in bed, you're praying. They're the sisters that work all day by praying all day. The Dominican sisters really helped me to have a voice in my community and to really preach the Word of God. It makes you realize there is a God who uh, is crazy about you. It makes you realize that there is a life that's full of abundance and joy that you can't get anywhere else. And through that, we in education and health and social services and law and all different ways are able to enable people to become the person that God has asked them to become.